One of my best, don't you think? <laughs> Howard, uh, do you want to double check the equatorial mounts on the laser? We need it locked up. Equatorial. Equatorial. Howard, uh, do you want to double check the equatorial mounts on the laser? We need it locked up. Howard, uh, do you want to double check the equatorial mounts on the laser? We need it locked onto the Sea of Tranquility. You got it. Tranquility. Tranquility. The laser, we need it locked onto the Sea of Tranquility. You got it. Billions of dollars have gone into inventing the internet and filling it with pictures of naked women so we don't have to peep through windows. <laughs> it's not peep. Peep. And so we don't have to peep through windows. It's not. I wasn't aware that lunar ranging was her thing. <laughs> Although I suppose the retro reflector left on the moon by Neil Armstrong. Retro. Retro. <laughs> Although I suppose the retro reflector left on the moon by Neil Armstrong. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> it's pretty cool. We've got a two meter parabolic reflector and everything. I thought you might want. Parabolic. Parabolic. Oh, we've got a two meter parabolic reflector and everything. I thought you might want. <laughs> so, how did you guys meet? My company designs the venues for the Cheesecake Factory. Your Cheesecake. Cheesecake. My company designs the venues for the Cheesecake Factory. Your in 1917, when Albert Einstein established the theoretic foundation for the laser in his papers are quantum tape. Theoretic. Theoretic. Established the theoretic foundation for the laser in his papers are quantum tape. Paper Sir Quentin Terry Der Strahlung, his fondest hope was that the resultant device be bitchin'. Resultant. Resultant. Hope was that the resultant device be bitchin'. Right. Yeah, yeah, funny. So, uh, that device there will measure the photons that return and let us see it on this com Photon. Photon. So, uh, that device there will measure the photons that return and let us see it on this com Yeah, but uh, think about what this represents. The fact that we can do this is the only way of definitively proving that there are man-made objects on the moon. Put there by a- Definitively. Definitively. Definitively proving that there are man-made objects on the moon. Put there by a that only 60 years before I just invented the airplane. What species is that? Species. Species. What species is that? <laughs> okay, yeah, he's stupid. <laughs> bragging about how he invented the word appetizers. <laughs> Teaser. Teaser. Bragging about how he invented the word appetizers. <laughs> ben, I just threw up in my closet. Bummer. Anyway, I... Bummer. 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 Anyway, I... Wouldn't you say mistake? Do you mean a fortunate mistake, like the discovery of penicillin? <laughs> penicillin. Penicillin. Like the discovery of penicillin? <laughs> yeah, I was drunk, I was lonely, I hated Zach. Can we just forget it ever happened? No, it's pretty well imprinted on my brain. <laughs> Imprint. Imprint. No, it's pretty well imprinted on my brain. <laughs> no, it's pretty well imprinted on my brain. <laughs> Especially the whole rodeo thing. Oh, God. Rodeo. Rodeo. Especially the whole rodeo thing. Oh, God. Especially the whole rodeo thing. Oh, God. So that's it? Wham, bam, thank you, Leonard? Look, I said... Wham. Wham. Wham, bam, 
Thank you, Leonard. Okay, what if I were to tell you tomorrow at 4.30 you could meet a woman who has been scientifically chosen to be your perfect mate? I scientifically. Scientifically. A woman who has been scientifically chosen to be your perfect mate. I a woman who has been scientifically chosen to be your perfect mate. I would snort in derision and throw my arms in the air, exhausted by your... Derision. Derision. I would snort in derision and throw my arms in the air, exhausted by your... And that's exactly the answer we gave to the question, what is your attitude towards online dating? <laughs> Howard wanted to write mumbo-jumbo, but I said no. I was Sheldon... With Jumbo. Jumbo. Wanted to write mumbo jumbo, but I said no. Our Sheldon would. I don't drink coffee. All right, you can have a hot chocolate. As I will not be engaging in this nonsense, my choice of beverage is moot. But for the record, I. Moot. Moot. As I will not be engaging in this nonsense, my choice of beverage is moot. But for the record, I. I only drink hot chocolate in months with an R in them. <laughs> Why? What's life without whimsy? <laughs> whimsy. Whimsy. What's life without whimsy? <laughs>